welcome back to Six Ashes for episode 16 with me, Mr. Sealy P. As you can see, I have a much larger mixing wagon and as you've already seen, I did sell a fair bit. My money's gone up to 275,000. I sold, well, I'm down to 67,500 litres of total mixed ration that I had pre-made of my 200,000 litres that I had in storage here. I had a few plans in my head of what I was going to do with that money. I was thinking about getting a larger tractor, I was thinking about maybe swapping out the um, front loader for a tally handler but then I thought I haven't really had any of them that long I don't want to be jumping too far ahead too quickly so what I also then thought I would do is to replace what I've used I would get a larger mixer wagon because I can mix it quicker this one holds 45,000 litres so what I've done I've put the first mix in already I've done five hay bales and six silage bales so I've got way more silage than I have hay which gives me 44,000 litres in there which means I can refill my stock in here far quicker what I've also got is one of my mates from down the pub Rory is up on field 8 because we had a contract come up and this unloads way quicker than the other one uh, yeah we had a contract come up for fertilising on field 8 for 21 grand well, well, that's too good to miss, so Rory's up there, even paying him to do it, we're still going to make a load of money on that one, so that's, that's, that is absolutely fantastic. What I've also done is I've cut down a few trees on my little bit of forest. Now, one of my plans was to buy another patch of forest ready for winter for the wood chipping kind of season, but that one there is 149 grand which isn't the end of the world i have got enough money i could buy that and in all reality over the winter because i was just worried my little plot here i'm going to run out of timber so with what i've just sold and the money i've got in the bank i could buy that plot no problem at all do a load of forest show over winter great which is what i'm planning to do anyway i'm going to do a load of wood chips like i said i was thinking of getting another tractor the other forestry we've got available is that plot there, but unfortunately you have to buy all of that. There's that plot there, which is only 97,650, and there's this plot here, but that is all still part of that. But that's quite a long way away from the sawmill, so I thought it makes more sense to do that one there. And all the other bits of forestry that are dotted around are kind of added into other plots. There's a little bit here, which is on field 9. So, you know, a um, few ideas, few irons in the fire. Like I say, I have already been cutting some trees down. What I am going to do in this episode is um, I'm going to grab... Actually, I need to get on the phone and see if KJ Wiggums is available. Because KJ has haulage services pretty much worldwide. It's got stuff all over the place, which is absolutely fantastic because I need a piece of equipment. Now this piece of equipment I have used on Geiselsberg, I did use on Holmerkra, as a logging forestry piece of machinery. It actually works out way cheaper. Now you may be new to my channel, why did I just disconnect? You may be new to my channel, you may know, not know what piece of equipment I'm talking about. But it works out a lot cheaper than leasing a Scorpion King or something like that. Now I have, the forestry I've done so far, what I have cut down, it's been by hand and I've been chopping up logs just by eye There's, you know, because they're going to go through a wood chipper so it doesn't really matter, they haven't got to be a set length um, really? completed their task wouldn't have thought they're done already 
No, only 89% complete. Okay, I need to go and check on that. Yeah, so like I say, um, I'm not putting them onto a log trailer. They're going to literally just go for a wood chipper. So it doesn't matter what the lengths are. So I have just been doing it by eye. It's not the neatest you're ever going to see, and it doesn't need to be. But to speed that process up, I'm going to get a, a piece of machinery, which will give me the ability to cut standard lengths or set lengths but like I say, it'll just make my life a little bit easier and it might help me a little bit for tidying up because what I'm also going to have to do is grab this front loader and I'm going to grab a log fork for it because what I need to do is go down to my plot and tidy up the logs I've already cut because at the moment they are an absolute mess I've just, I've just been cutting down trees, bucking them up and you know, making a mess really <laughs> but anyway We'll see how we get on. The problem is I'm doing this and I'm talking. They also then forget what I've done already. So that's two, this will be four, one more will be five, then six of the uh, silage bales, and then we'll be good to go. Now this cost me about seven grand to lease, but in all honesty, what I'm making from the total mix ration, selling it to the livestock market, doesn't matter it, uh, I'm gonna make that money back and the ability to speed that process up massively um, was worth every penny spent it, you know I mean that's in essence as you build your farm up and I've said this so many times before but the process is you either get bigger machinery to speed up the processes or faster machinery, or larger machinery, or you know, whatever it might be. Um, for that very reason, the faster you can do things, the more jobs you can get done in a day, the more money you can make, the, the quicker you are, the more productive you are. Again, you can make more money in a day. So that, in essence, is what it's all about. If I can make this stuff quickly, and I can make money selling it, that's great. If it's taking me ages to make it, I can't keep up with the demand. And there's only so many hours in the day. Oh, other thing, water. Now, thank you to everyone who commented, but I'm, all, I'm stuck in that position again with the, um, the sea of experts. But I am going to... You know, I said in the last episode about not getting a water pump, and I gave my reasons for not getting a water pump, was that I had been reliably informed when I ran seasons before, when it came out, and that... As I said, the water pump will only make sure you don't run out of water. It doesn't fill the trough up, it will just make sure you don't run out of water. Um, and I was told, that's all well and good, but to be 100% productive, or as productive as you can be with your animals, you need to make sure that everything's topped up completely. So that's why I thought, okay, well, you know what, I won't get a water pump this time. And at five grand a pop, it gets quite expensive. That said, those water trailers were 5,500 and I've got one each of my farm sites already. A lot of people commented to say, no, that's not the case. The water pump, whilst it does only put enough water in to make sure you don't run out, it doesn't affect your productivity at all. The water won't make any difference. As long as your animals have water, they'll be productive. And as long as they have water, they're not going to die, which is fantastic as well but you don't need to have a full water trough to be fully productive so now I'm torn because I've got some people telling me absolutely yeah you need to be everything needs to be, needs to be full or at least all in the green and I've got other people telling me no don't worry about it <laughs> so what I might do and I've only just bought it I might place a water pump on this one for the sheep and sell that back. I don't know. Let's just double check. Make sure we've got 44,000 litres. Total mix ration. We have. Let's unload that in. So that's what I'm probably going to do now, actually. And then I'm going to get down to sorting those logs out. And hopefully by the end of the episode, we'll have the vehicle delivered. And I can get a bit more cut down. I'm just thinking, because today's the kind of day I haven't really got any jobs to do. I didn't want to skip forward to day six, late autumn and then say, okay, I've still got no work to do. If these two days are three days, in essence, I could spend a, you know, both days doing loads of cultivating. The more job fields that are cultivated, the more other jobs then become available. 
Um, but I thought, if I'm going to do wood chipping, and again, my, my time is limited. The amount of wood chipping I can get done in a day, therefore the amount of money I can make in a day, will be limited. Far less so than if I was running at times one. So, uh, some of the locals have been kind of, you know, tipping me the wink and just saying, you know, just have a think about it. So if I cut down timber now, pile it up, which is what kind of what I did mention before I was thinking about doing, when it comes to actually selling the wood chips, I can then just whack everything through the wood chipper. I haven't got to worry about cutting it down, getting it all ready, then putting it through the wood chipper. I can literally just spend my time piling stuff through that wood chipper and selling it straight away. Um, I think that will make me more productive and it will, you know, I can make more money in, in theory. I mean, that's what I'm hoping. So, um, where do we stand with regard to... How much have I got in there now? 155. One more load will take me almost up to 200,000 litres. So, yeah, in three loads, I'll be full again, whereas with the other one, it would have taken me seven... Seven loads, somewhere. So, I'm going to see you in a bit. I need to go and check on the worker. Work out why Rory stopped. Must be a reason, anyway. I know, you know, you don't necessarily want. Oh, water pump. Let's do that. So, again, if you are new to all of this uh, business, that's the one I want to be on. Um, if you want to get a um, water pump, it is only available if you're doing seasonal work. And you'll find it under animal pens. It should be right at the very end. There you go. Water pump, 5,000. So if I get that plumbed in. The thing with this, you can put it. I was told, reliably, that you can actually put it quite a way away. And it will still work. I think something like 50 metres, I think someone said. Now, I've just put the, I put the other standpipe in, didn't I? But So if I put it there, that should be absolutely fine. I go too close. That's it. My work. No, a little bit too far. So I'm going to put it about there. I think. There. That's just cost me five grand. But what I'm going to do is sell back the other one. So what we'll do is do that. that. Turn the engine off. Genius. Um, and I'm going to take the other one. The um, Does mean I don't need the standpipe anymore. I'm going to leave it there for the time being, just in case I have any issues. I realise it's going to have a load of water in it though, isn't it? Yeah. Never mind, it's not the end of the world. Right, like I said, I'll see you in a bit.
Right, I've got a log grapple. And it looks like... Oh, I'll tell you what, KJ Wiggums can't beat them. The excavator has been delivered. We've got a leap air, 902, but we've got a wheeled one this time. I've used trap ones before, but not a wheeled one. And with the uh, tree felling, harvesting, header, it's a really, really cheap alternative to a, to a Scorpion King or something along those lines. I think to buy this only comes in, it's about 100,000, I think. So to lease it, it's dirt cheap. Now there is a, um, a grapple arm for this as well, which I suppose I could have used, but it would have meant getting that delivered separately. So I thought, you know what, I'll try with this. If this doesn't work, um, I might use the um, tractor with the weight on the back. I could put the weight on the back of this. Now the problem I had with one of these, this one here, was where I felled it, felled it, yeah, um, it fell into the neighbour's field. It wouldn't let me, um, wouldn't let me cut it out. Which was a bit frustrating. So I'm going to pick it up. Just need to get it onto my land. <laughs> and then I can cut it up. So as you can see, there's a load of mess here. I have been busy. Up right in the middle. Some of this I can pick up by hand, some of the smaller stuff, which is great. He says that. Yeah, some of the smaller stuff. So it's just finding a location. I don't suppose it matters, does it? I'll just chuck it down. Uh, these pine ones here, the smaller ones, these are, I was able to pick up by hand as well because they're only fairly small. I'm just going to move those out of the way actually. Just pop them there for the time being. So any of the smaller bits I will manipulate by hand because it's just a little bit quicker. But when I get the wood chipper all of this will just get slung straight through. Now I don't really need to be taking all the foliage off these. I could cut them down, buck them up and they'll go through um, the wood chipper with all the branches on. But it, again it just makes a little bit more sense to do it this way. There's a few little odds and ends. And what I'll try and do as much as possible is this stuff will go through. I'll have a grab. You know what I miss from Holmerkra is the um, the mill loader. Oh, that thing with the straps on it as well it was an absolute godsend. That's weird. A bit heavy. Just want to cut that one up. Thought I had. Still too heavy though. Funny that you can pick up a whole tree, but then an end bit won't let you. Nope. And that bit. No, okay. Yeah, so this will probably take a little bit of time. And again, it's just a, it's just a case of tides. I could probably use the, the um, dozer blade on the front of the excavator would probably help. It's just a case of trying to get everything into a neatish pile, and then when I then start cutting with the excavator, I can then use that to make neat piles. But this is just a kind of. Oh, come on, every single time. There we go. Do you keep getting a lot of wheel slip with this? Which is a bit worrying. Another reason why I might look at a telehand, but like I said, I just got it, and I, I was adamant I'm going to stick with it, and I do like it, and it's got, it's, it does have its uses, but I am getting a bit of slip, which doesn't help. Yeah, so we should have a few poles of lumber. And then once the wood chipper comes and we're into that kind of time when we can make a good bit of money on it, I won't then have to be wasting time doing stuff like this. Cutting down the trees, getting neat piles. I mean, admittedly, I could cut straight onto the wood chipper realistically, I suppose I could, couldn't I? 
But this gives me something to do. I am going to need to get a stump grinder as well at some point. I haven't actually done any of the stumps. So yeah, it's all going rather well. Quite happy with the progress so far. Wonder if there's going to be any mods today. No mods yesterday. I'm recording this, um, actually weirdly, early hours of the morning. I'm having a real um, insomniac moment. Woke up at half past three in the morning. Just wide awake. Laid there and laid there and laid there and thought, I might as well just get up and start doing a video now. So if I sound a little bit lethargic, it's that weird thing that you lay in bed and lay in bed and you can't sleep. Wide awake, you think I'll get up. Within half an hour of getting up, you then think, oh, I feel really weary. <laughs> it's just typical, isn't it? So I thought I'd get this done. But anyway, yeah, so this is Friday morning. Thursday, there were no mods. But, um, yeah, so potentially there'll be some today. Who knows? But, that being said... Oh, I have had a request... Um, from a company. Which I'll get onto in a minute. When I say a company... Narrative-based. Not a, not a real, you know. But, yeah. And it is kind of along the wood chip route. But poplars. Now, I haven't done poplars for quite a while. A few people have been asking me, can I do them? Will I do them? You know. And it's one of those things that, you know, especially with the um, Anderson... No, was it the Anderson pack? That had the wood chip baler. It was a real novel kind of thing, but it's always been that situation that, especially when so with seasons on, lumber was always just way better than wood chip. And generally speaking, if you're not doing seasonal work, unless you're on a, you know, you're in a very nice area, <laughs> you're farming a very nice farm, and wood chips pay out very very well, they're not always worth doing. You know, yeah, you do get a lot of them. But you don't get paid very much, whereas here, the price of wood chip is very good. So it does make poplars and things more relevant. I'm going to have to do a bit of research, though, into um, growth. Because I honestly, off the top of my head, cannot remember how long poplars take to grow um, when you're doing seasonal work. Um, I think it's a year. I know real trees, I say real trees, if you plant saplings, I think it takes five years, I'm pretty sure it's five years, but poplars I can't remember, it might just be one season, but looking ahead to next year, if I'm doing all this forestry now, poplars might be a good route to go, it's a different way of getting our wood chips, and it will pay out, as we know on here, very very well. So it could well be a lucrative crop to look at for next season. So I may well plant a load of that. I'm just thinking though with the... Oh yeah, as you saw, I'm sorry I meant to say, I did sell another load of um, soil mix ration because I had the large mixer anyway. I thought, you know what, the other thing as well I wanted to mention was if you now look at my animal pens, um, my pigs are standard with the water under conditions, but my sheep pasture now says water water pump so i know the water pump is working it is on there so yeah we'll just see what happens with regard to that at the moment it's going to keep it fairly well filled because i haven't got that many sheep um but i do need to give them some more hay because that's now in the orangey yellow anyway right what i'm going to do is i'm going to carry on with this i'm going to get a load of this stacked up not all in one place because you tend to find you get a little bit of um little bit of lag it doesn't always like it if you've got all your logs in one place all your eggs in one basket so to speak so um, what I'll probably do actually there's a log over there if I make another pile over here as well it's a fairly large one actually but doesn't matter a 
And then what we'll do is um, crack on with the excavator, get a few more trees down, a few more piles sorted out. Bearing in mind it's already 20 past one. Isn't it weird how you can do loads and loads and loads and it'd be absolutely fine. And you always get that one log that for some reason just just wants to drive you mad. Yeah, I need to get these stumps out of the way because that's going to be quite annoying. I was worried that some of these logs might be too heavy for the loader. But as it's turned out, it doesn't seem to be too bad. I did, oh yeah, there you go, tree stump. I did have one tree, weirdly, mind you, it vanished. I, I don't, I, I cut it and it got caught up on another tree, so I kind of went up it a little bit to take the top off. I took the top off, which fell to the floor of the rest of the tree. Don't know what happened to it. It, it just, I don't know, spontaneously combusted. I'm not quite sure what happened to it. I'll probably find it somewhere in a ditch or you know, half a mile away, stuck in a fence or something. But, um, yeah. Anyway, sorry I'm wittering on. It's probably because of the time in the morning. My brain's now going, oh, you know what, let's just switch off. Switch off and go back to sleep again. <laughs> Such is my dedication to my work that I thought, ah, oh, I'm awake. Might as well make a video <laughs> while I'm at it. While I'm up and about. I can't really do much else, I can't, you know, start clattering around the house, I'm waking everyone up. Mrs. Silly peers away with work at the moment. And she may have a very interesting announcement. Well, something she told me, but I might, be, I might have an interesting announcement with regard to what she does for a living, which is... I mean, she works in pensions, but oh, I can't go into any detail. I could get in trouble and I could get her in trouble. But anyway, yeah. Something potentially on the horizon, which is rather cool. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. Money has gone down. The money has gone down because I have bought this other forest, or this whole forested area. I'm, have, I'm not going to cut anything yet. I'm going to cut all this first and see how we get on. It's there if I need it. I'm not necessarily going to need it. I went for a, a wheeled version of this as well because I thought with the, um, the way the terrain is, the tracks might be a little bit unwieldy. Now what I've also got to do is be careful where I cut and how I cut, the direction of cut, because what can often happen is if you cut onto a fence or a hedge, although the hedge is alright on this one, they can catch on fences. If I cut and it falls into the neighbour's field, it should be alright because I'm not cutting with a chainsaw because it's going to pull it through the cutter head. So it should be alright, but you never know, so it doesn't have to be uh, careful. So cut. There we go. Put it to the side. As long as it doesn't get caught up in the trees. It's a heavy one, that. And a fairly long one. That's not bad at all. So, like I say, I mean, it, this for what it's costed me to lease it, and it's not too expensive to lease at all. This is going to make really short work of it. I could do it all by chainsaw, and I did start off. You know, the first three piles that I've got now tidied up, were all done by chainsaw, and bucked up by hand. And to be fair, the lengths aren't too bad. I thought I was going to be way off, but considering I did it by eye, what you can always do as well. And I can't remember who it was that mentioned it to me a while back um, and it was about cutting one log to length I mentioned it in one of my other videos I can't remember oh, who was it it might have been Adrian possibly um, so cutting one length 
on the end of one of the trees to be your measuring stick, so to speak, then when you fell a tree by hand, you can just lay that next to it and you can get all your cuts the same length. You know, it's a, it's a very clever way of doing it. A very seemingly obvious and simple idea, but not one that... I'm stuck on a tree stump. Of course I am. Got my blade stuck as well. Yeah, that's going to be the next step once I've cut a load of these down. Now, I'm, I might well, depending on how well we do, and if forestry... Like I say, we could do poplars. Oh, that was the thing I was to check, wasn't it? Um, yeah, if we do poplars as well. But if we have got a big old forest to cut, which I've just bought, then potentially that head has moved, hasn't it? Because now it's cutting towards the harvester, which it shouldn't be doing. Because that head is pointed at an angle. That shouldn't be doing that. But the beauty of having the blades on the front of this as well is um, if I do L1, R1, and I'll switch to blade and drop that down, I can then move around stuff on the ground using the blade. I mean, that's what it's for at the end of the day. I can neaten up piles. You know, I say, if you've watched me do Homokra, and I did a load of logging on that, this will be nothing new. And it's one of those things I don't... I mean, that was a logging map. That was the whole point of that, was pioneering. And I know not everyone likes logging, not everyone agrees with it. And I don't want to do episode after episode after episode of logging. I'm not going to. What I will do, probably a lot of it will be off screen. But I will tell you if I've done any. And then, like I say, just neaten your piles up a little bit. I mean, this was more relevant when I was using the mill loader as well, because if you did this, you got them all nice and straight, all lined up, the mill loader would come, because that's got a strap on it as well, which is just, again, absolute lifesaver bit of kit, that. It just makes your life so much easier when you're picking up piles of logs. But that is a little bit too big to be using around here. I am thinking actually stump grinder might need to be sooner rather than later. Hmm. Right, what we'll do, swing round into here, cut some of those at the back. So if you see, I've angled my head, and I can rotate it round. Having an angle like that is supposed to be, so when I bring it out to the side, it will cut away from me and not towards the harvester. Not with the excavator, sorry, it's because I'm cutting the trees. I know there's always that debate about the use of terminology, and it's not a harvester, it's a tree feller, or it's a, you know, I'm harvesting trees. That's weird. Oh, it's not on the header, there we go. Woo! That's another heavy one. Should have put the support legs out. At least that's cutting out to the side and nowhere near me. Yeah, to be fair, if I go to that... Um, what I should have done was... Where is it? What? Oh, that's odd. My mind has gone completely blank. How to get First, Those rear support legs down. There we go. Yeah, should have done that first. And then cut, because obviously that makes the whole thing more stable. 
think. Should be more sensible and avoid tipping over as much as possible. <laughs> that would, especially if I'm on a slight angle as well. But anyway, this is what I was setting out to do. This is what I was intending to do. Get a load of stuff done on my off day, so to speak. I don't think I'm going to have much to do tomorrow either, so in, in all honesty... That's weird. There we go. Yep. Oh! Okay. So I've got some work to do. It may be that I don't actually end up using the other forest. But while I add the money from the total mix ration, <coughs> I might as well. I am still looking at a, a new tractor. Probably going to upgrade the fence to get a higher horsepower. Which will give me a few more options then with things I can use. Machinery and things I can use. I have got the small... Sammy, so I'm thinking I suppose I can get rid of the hmm. I like the Sammy as well like I say I don't want to go mad too soon and get everything you know that said I could change my mind and get a vehicle and then in another you know, couple of months buy something completely different you know what I'm like if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time <laughs> she'll know if I'm I'm nothing if not unpredictable with regard to uh, what I decide to do. But anyway, yeah, we're making we're making progress anyway. And like I said, I didn't want to do an entire episode of just doing this. Moved a little bit around, did a bit of the total mix ration, bought the vehicle over. But I am going to be using this for how long? I don't know. Will I actually buy one? Potentially. I think it's a fantastic bit of kit to own. Does a cracking job. So you know, you'd be kind of mad not to really. So, note to self this time. And you get that into this cut position, like so. Or thereabouts. Then switch to that. Support first. Got a bit of wobble in there, though. There we go. Supported. Back to that. Now it does it. Doesn't tip as much. There we go. So we're getting there. <laughs> Always learning. Don't remember having much trouble. I suppose I was on tracks before. I was thinking on the home okra. I don't remember it tipping at all like that. But that could be why. So, at five to three with me continuing to get all this done I will leave you now or you will leave me depending on which way you look at it to get on with your day I'm going to get on with this probably next not necessarily next episode but maybe tomorrow I'll grab a stump grinder and come through and we'll get rid of some of these stumps I'll see if I can get one for the front loader it'll be quicker because that's quite manoeuvrable and I can whiz in and get all the stumps ground out or I might do I don't know I should really be doing that as I go to give myself more room but anyway yeah that being said we have come to the end of this episode um, hope you've enjoyed it if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do as always Thanks for watching. <laughs>